Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Bradley. You see these dots up here? Uh, that's because uh, I need to get curtains, okay? You're, you're going to watch them go across the screen. Uh, you can see time literally passing uh, with it. Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, episode 7. I'm filming this on the same day as I reacted and uploaded episode 6. What can I say? I'm on that grind. I gotta go somewhere uh, in two days, so I gotta finish up this series. Um, so it's good for you guys, the consumers, because it means you're gonna get some content uh, in quick succession. That means uh, I should just get immediately into this in the spirit of making things go quick. Episode 7, here we go. I already know how this shit starts. Alright, it's got the sickest push of tea shit ever. <laughs> And this is about as much as I saw. Okay, so I saw Pusha T, and then I saw they were kidnapped, and they talked about, uh, oh, wow, I didn't know Vi was working for the enemy. I'm sorry, I mean, uh, Jinx. Yeah, that song's badass. I like it a lot, you know? It, I like the fact they didn't restrict Pusha T into reading some bullshit script. Like, I mean, it, it sounds like a legitimate Pusha T song with a badass beat. I'm not the one who walked us into not one, but two of Silco's traps. This isn't Silco, it's someone else. When were you planning to tell me that your lunatic sister works for him? Just as soon as you came clean about what the hell you're really doing down here. I told you the truth! Bullshit. What was that glowing stone? Ah. What's going on? Hey, stop! Get your hands off me! Leave her alone! Dude, okay, I love that it showed nothing. I love that it was just like, oh shit, something's happening, but it was just like in their perspective of they have no clue what's going on. Oh, whoa, okay. That guy's not human. You shy or just ugly? What the fuck? Hold on. Yo. Okay. What? <laughs> All right. I I did not expect that. Okay. All right. Let's. Okay. Okay. All right. You look good for a dead girl. It seems pissed that she's alive, which is kind of sad. Uh, now we of course get to Imagine Dragons, which of course skip. Oh the misery. Oh the misery indeed. I will admit though, the song's pretty catchy. Yo, he looks. <laughs> What you Dude, Echo looks pissed. He looks pissed. It's serious, very serious. I know about this. What were you doing with Jinx? Her name is Powder, and I just found her when you and your goons showed up. People change. Yeah, I'm getting that. Are you working for Silco? Fuck you. <laughs> I, I thought you were dead. Now you show up with a Pilty and give her a tour of the lanes? I remember when you wouldn't stand up to me. Oh what? I missed you, How'd little she... man. What the hell? How'd she just unlock? How long have you had those off? How long have you been whining? Oh! Goddamn bastard motherfuckers. I'm not emotional. You're emotional. I'll make you emotional with my fist. <laughs> I've tried every combination of runes, but it's always the same. Nature has made us intolerant to change, but fortunately, we have the capacity to change our nature. And this is Shimmer? A variant. It should provide everything. Okay, so yeah, he, he, Jace was talking about like Shimmer's rampant in the streets. We saw the people who are meth heads. So Shimmer, I guess, is like this powerful drug that was created uh, by this guy. And uh, yeah, this dude basically is the motherfucking grandfather of meth. Jace will understand. No. Perhaps. Oh, God, it's so hard to watch, man. Victor's a good man. He's a good man. It's hard to see him, you know, so desperate. I mean, he is dying, though, at the end of the day. So I guess desperation is part of the picture. Uh, it's between literal life and death. Is that Jace looking all handsome as always? Uh. Marcus brought this to me. It's an explosive. I tried taking it apart and it nearly killed me. Is that what's really bothering you? He was my mentor, Mel. And I betrayed him. Everything you said about him was true. My family cast me out, and yet part of me still loves them. Oh, God, man, this lady is no good. She's trouble. She's trouble. For, she's been trouble from the beginning, okay? 
Love is a dangerous thing. It corrupts the mind worse than power. I'm Athena will understand eventually. No, you don't. It's your time now, Jason. No! No more red. We'll get through this. I'll store the council, but they'll soon need their lead. All right, so here's what's going on so far. We got we, we see um, Vi get captured. She meets up with Echo. It's really cute, the scene that they have. Um, and then we see Victor meeting up with, I'm going to say Singed. The guy looks like Singed. He probably is Singed, okay? Mad scientist who creates super drugs that damage everybody. Uh, and then, of course, we see these two electrifying duo with all this pent-up sexual energy. In the meantime, try not to lose your nuts. Got him. Enforcers are searching anyone who crosses the bridge. Marcus has followed oh, she... my orders. Prevent... Wow, she's not dead? I thought she was dead. She was hanging from the ceiling, homie. Come on. Ending by and Caden from returning. Dikembe, I'm scheduled an assembly. I've had enough headaches. It didn't sound like a request. Let's just say I didn't always see eye to eye with my old man. And... She'll come to you. What the fuck? Is that what they call them, firelights? Oh, I bet. No, that's the thing, though, is, like, she just saw her for a second, and then she disappeared. Like, that's the thing, is Jinx is already messed up. This incident is going to screw her up so far off the deep end. Uh, I'm fascinated to see just how terrible this is going to be for her mental health. They took her. Why would I remember her name? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Dude, poor Powder, dude. She's gone through too much. Dude, Echo's hair is so goddamn badass. Silco flooded the lanes with Shimmer. He didn't care what it did to people. Everyone here was an addict or a victim. They needed somewhere safe to start again. Aw. Powder's gone by. All that's left is Jinx, and she belongs to You're Silco. wrong. I know my sister. <gasps> Whoa, what? This is everyone we've lost. Sister works for him not because she has to, but because she wants to. Uh-oh. What the hell is he doing here? Do you have any idea how this looks? I order a blockade and my own partner violates it. You ordered this? Why? There are people down there who seem hell-bent on destroying us. What were you doing? I was consulting a friend about our condor. You didn't say they were from the Undercity? What difference does that make? What diff- They're dangerous. I'm from the Undercity. Jace has- is lost it, okay? He's living on a different planet now, which is unfortunate because he was such a good man. It's unfortunate that all men have to l get lost to good pussy, okay? I've had a lot on my plate. Was your friend able to help? No. No, he said nature was resistant to this sort of tampering. <laughs> First, this wild attack in the harder built offer. Now the border is closing. We're bleeding money, and for what? His dreams of rebellion. He's losing control. It's looking to rise up. We're all wondering, what's your plan to fix this? You're all wondering, are you? Jinx will deal with it. <laughs> Rumor is, you dogs are for leash. Ha! How are you meant to bring Piltover to heal? If you can't handle your own people, huh? Ooh, <laughs> he's got an attitude, dude. Oh shit! What's that? <laughs> oh, you don't recognize it. Have you forgotten where we came from? I pulled you all up from the depths. Offered you a taste of top side, but you've grown fat and complacent. <laughs> Too much time in the sun. 
Damn, that's cold. Basically saying, I took you in, I brought you into this world, I could take you out, okay? Terrible. He suffocates everybody with the disgusting air that's in the underground. Which, uh, because all these guys have become greedy and topside and don't understand what it's like anymore. Talk shit, get hit. Hey. Oh, wait, I thought the gates were closed. Vi tells me I can trust you. You get a pass back topside, that's it. Oh, oh, damn. Doesn't have Jinx to help, huh? Let me help you. Where have you been, Jinx? Oh, you know, here, there, chasing down dead ends. And guess what? They're not all dead. If there's one thing I learned in this world, the world does not wait for wings. While well, you're staring at another man's food, your food's getting cold. Ho ho ho! Who's fries, dude? Mm. That is not my order. What the fuck is this? I did not order boneless. However, at least it's still buffalo, so it's pretty good. I'm, you know, testifying to say that my wings are wrong. However, these boneless wings are so fucking good. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's B Dizzle here, okay? So, I'm editing this video. I'm eating wings while I'm watching, and the audio is so quiet. And the wing chewing is so loud. Ah! I'm sorry to advance, but there's nothing I can do now. So enjoy the sweet, savory sounds of Brad tasting chewing. But you found out she came back. You lied. What the hell? I wanted to protect you. From what? Seeing the Enforcer are back for the crystal. Who found you? It's so manipulative. I am your family. You guys are like, oh, he saw, you know, he saw himself in her. That's why he didn't kill her and why he took her in. Dude, this guy's too evil for me to believe that that's fully true. She did it and ran. Wow. You got it. You have to let me take that back. Fight knowledge could build any hex tech device. Basically. He's confronted her with the crystal. He's, he's saying he wants to build the weapon. You can see that Echo's been fighting for a long time. There's like, there's just a fire inside of him, you know? People of the pride. Caitlyn's naive. She doesn't actually know what's really going on with the corruption. As she's been kind of locked behind closed doors for a long time. You got a plan? I have a friend on the council. One condition. I'm the one who gives it to them. I like that condition. Let's go, Echo. We should prepare our own countermeasures. You want us to build weapons? Absolutely not. That is not why we invented it. They're gonna build weapons. Alright, so they're all preparing for a war. Dude, this is so... Like, Heimer was so right. If they start building Hextech weapons, then Hextech weapons exist. It's like, you build a nuclear bomb, you know? In case someone nukes you. You know what I mean? It's like, it's all fucked. I'm only asking you to prepare to defend your people. This woman is bad news! Victor knows. We're scientists, not soldiers. But we he's have a... the knowledge to defend. Oh my god. Holy shit! Psychotic. Hextech was made to save lives, not to destroyed lives oh shit some bad shit's about to happen I could sense it all right oh oh shit balloons tower beat battles 2 is coming soon excuse me I'm sorry I, I just saw a Twitter advertisement directly tailored to my uh, you know 
gullible ass. So, here's what's going on so far in this episode, okay? So, Vi and Caitlyn are captured by the Firelights, which ends up being Echo and his crew, and they're very friendly, which explains why they're trying to destroy the Shimmer. Uh, and then Victor meets up with this guy, who, again, I'm going to call Singed for now, and uh, they seem to be pretty buddy-buddy. Uh, it's unfortunate to see the, um, you know, the circumstance that Victor is putting himself in in order to survive. Then we see, you know, a big fucking muscle hunk over here, and we see bad, uh, bad news lady over here, okay? She always fucking swaying him in the direction of, you know, corruption. We see Jinx stapling her own leg together. It's absolutely insane. She's losing her mind. Uh, Vi is talking with Echo. Uh, let's see, this is Victor. Oh, yeah, Victor meets up at the gate with uh, Jace. Silco basically says, I got things covered. Don't worry about it, guys. Caitlyn is telling him about the core, and then Echo says, I'm coming with you. And then we got Victor. Uh, and then we're over here now. So there's a hidden note here in this book. Oh my god. He's doing it. Oh my god! That was a picture of him with the hammer! He never thought he would, but it's gonna look badass when he does, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> Primer? Yo, everything's moving so quick. Oh my god, no way. It's like, whoa. Ah! Oh! Oh! Jesus! Man! Ah! Ah! Pause. One, this is so goddamn loud. Holy shit. Two, Jesus Christ. Bye. I can't leave her again. No way. I can't change her. I have to try. Yes, you can. It's just a goodbye hug. She's right. At least there, yeah, as you can see, powder's still in there. I appreciate it. You, you can kind of see she's still got a, a little bit of whatever. Her brain's still working, even though it's on life support. Oh, Sir, no. I have proof. Silco's behind everything. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Show me. Oh, this motherfucker. God, you evil. No good. Rotten. Not you son of a bitch. Motherfucking you rotten. Evil. No good. Two-faced, double-crossing, psychotic motherfucking... I mean, and then at the end of the day, he's just kind of protecting his daughter. But still, fuck you. Did he just kill Echo? Are you serious? Wait. What the fuck? Dude. No way. Why? It's so corrupt, man. Why are they killing off the main characters? They killing off the cool people. They killing off the black person. Just like stereotypical, typical ass television. You literally, it felt like you, you basically had convinced them already to give you the shit. They didn't know you were an evil crazy bastard, but I think, I guess he knew he was an evil crazy bastard, so it didn't really matter. Oh my god. What the hell? Shoot him! Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god! What? It's crazy! What the shit? Oh my god. What is happening, dude? Oh no. Oh, oh. Yo! Hey! They're not gonna kill off Echo. I mean, then how can you play him in League of Legends if he's dead? I'm just saying what everyone's thinking, okay? If Echo dies, how the fuck are we supposed to play him in League? Alright? 
They don't die in this show, they just get very bad boo-boos. Oh shit, here's the uh, main character here, Jinx. Crazy ass bitch. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Wait, did Jinx do that? I feel like she could have done that. Wasn't there a bunch of those fireflies near here? Her? Wait, was that Caitlyn? Yeah, you don't deserve no last words, you no good double crossing, double eyed motherfucking bastard ass. No good looking mustache motherfucker, okay? You get no final words to your daughter. I'm sorry, but you are going straight down elevator to hell. Goodbye. Jesus, this is traumatizing. <laughs> oh my god, and they shot the bomb that was under them. Echo! Dude, he's so badass! Yo! Yo! Oh shit! Look at that! Dude, Echo! Carrying this goddamn show. He is so badass, dude. No, 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 you can't abandon her again. Nah, nah. Don't you see? She just needs a hug and some therapy and some help and some serious help. Good God, does she need help. What the fuck is ha- okay. What the fuck? Okay. Look at this stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's this time piece or something. Go back in time. Come on. It's stuck. The time piece. How you gonna end? How you gonna end that shit off there? Okay, that was so good. The ending of that shit was so good. That shit felt like I I I feel like last episode was good. It was a good episode. A nice little way to kind of close off that chapter. This episode though, I think captured me a lot more. I love the action here. I love the push your teeth and Denzel Curry. I mean, shit. I mean, shit. Could it be any cooler? No. No, it could not. Yeah. Wow. That was badass. Um, all right. Recap. Uh, some crazy shit just happened there. Uh, soldier, no, I, I told you, man, he's going to die. But I was wrong. It wasn't because he had a big heart. It's because he's... Ultra dickhead and, and completely deserves what he got. Uh, I'm glad that he didn't kill Echo. However, some crazy shit just happened. Again, I know Jinx doesn't die. Okay, let's let's be real. Jinx doesn't die. Okay. But it's still a lot of suspense, and I want to watch another one. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna get another episode out to, uh, today. But still, dude, dude. Oh my god, shit just got real. Mm. 
Yo, Tina. Okay, so I got Tina to start watching this show. I'm going to make her keep watching this show because this show is the shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm obsessed with this show. I can't wait to see how, how this shit keeps going. Um, even though I know kind of a big spoiler, uh, thanks to some great guy in the chat who just dropped that shit like, a, like it was nothing. Um, there's so many different aspects in this show that aren't, like, explained or resolved. So... I'm excited to see basically what happens with that. Oh, God, if I didn't know that thing, I could just speak normally. But, oh, it, it, it haunts it haunts me, okay? It truly haunts me. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for me for this episode. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching, and hope you have a good rest of your day. All right, peace out.